SOMED, Cervical Cancer Prevention Awareness and Health Matters. Your partner in Health Matters. Dedicated to promoting awareness of both male and female issues. This video does not provide medical advice as it is intended for awareness and information purposes only. This video is for adults and parental guidance only. This video is not a substitute for professional advice, diagnosis and treatment. Please do not ignore your professional medical advice because of what you are going to hear in this video. Should you have any medical emergency, please contact your doctor or emergency services. Hello everyone, my name is Edna Dapa and welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I talked about vaginal bleeding. Please join me as I discuss this interesting topic that concerns women of all ages. This series will be educational and informative, so men can also be imparted to, to have a better understanding of their partners. Women bleed through the vagina at different times and for various reasons. And I will be reviewing some of these factors that cause bleeding. Today, however, I will be discussing normal vagina bleeding, which is menstruation and the role of hormones in this process. Please join me in the talk about this intriguing phenomenon women go through during certain stages of their lives. Menstruation, also known as period or monthly bleeding, is the regular discharge of blood and other materials through the vagina. This process takes place from puberty until menopause except during pregnancy. The first menstrual period occurs at an average age of 12 to 15, but it may also take place at an early, as early as age eight and continue till the average age of 51. The menstrual cycle drives a series of changes a woman's body goes through in preparation for possible pregnancy. The cycle is a recurring process and the length of a phase varies from person to person with an average of 28 days from the start of one menstrual period to the beginning of the next. The menstrual cycle is basically a hormonal process the body goes through every month to prepare for possible pregnancy. The occurrence of regular menstrual period within puberty and uh, premenopausal phase of life are usually signs of uh, a competent uh, gynecological system. The period encompasses the ovarian and uterine cycles governed by hormonal fluctuation, which simultaneously occurs in two parts of female reproductive organs, the ovary and the uterus. The hormonal activities are required for the release of egg from the ovary or ovulation and the preparation of the uterus for pregnancy. The cycle and the period are controlled by estrogen and progesterone hormones. Estrogen causes the maturation of egg in the ovary and is released for possible fertilization by sperm cells. The role of progesterone hormone is to cause the lining of the uterus to become thick spongy and nice for fertilized eggs to implant and start a pregnancy. This lining is made of um, tissues and blood and has lots of uh, nutrients to help the pregnancy grow. The menstrual cycle is characterized by the rise and fall of hormones. An increase in estrogen level activates the ovary to release egg Upon the release of egg, which is ovulation, there will be an abrupt decline of estrogen. This decline enables a rapid increase of progesterone that activates the uterus to prepare for pregnancy. After ovulation, the released egg travels down the fallopian tube where it could be fertilized by a sperm cell as the egg makes its final journey to the uterus. Ovulation typically lasts one day and may occur in the middle of a woman's uh, menstrual cycle that's about two weeks before the start of a period. 
Ovulation may be non-symptomatic, but some signs experience could be bloating, spotting, or a little pain in the lower abdomen that may only be felt on one side. The released egg is implanted on the walls of the uterus, and if fertilization has taken place, the lining of the uterus remains in place to nourish the fertilized egg. If pregnancy has not uh, taken place, the body does not require the thick lining in the uterus, so the lining will break down and the blood, nutrients, and tissues will flow out through the vagina as uh, menstruation or period. The monthly flow of blood and cellular debris from the uterus is a normal process and has an average length of three to seven days. Menstrual period could change to lasting longer or getting lighter. This does not necessarily mean there is a problem, but it is essential to speak to medical professional about it. It is important to note that use of certain types of contraception like birth control pills and IUD could alter the menstrual cycle. I will address some questions people ask me in the course of this series and I hope my response will benefit some of my viewers as well. Some questions people ask is, how many eggs are lost during the menstrual cycle or menstrual period? During ovulation in humans, only one egg is released at a time, but occasionally more than one egg erupts, which explains the birth of the uh, non-identical twins. Another frequently asked question is, will there be enough eggs to make children when a woman is uh, ready for family? At birth, there are approximately one to two million eggs in the ovary. And by the time a female attains poverty, only about 300,000 eggs remain. Of these, only 300 to 400 eggs will be ovulated during a woman's reproductive lifetime. Fertility could drop as the woman gets older due to decreasing quality and quantity of the remaining eggs. The quality and quantity of eggs begin to decrease with age, resulting in a decline of fertility potential. And this may manifest in a longer time to conception. Why is bleeding observed immediately after insertion of tampon during a menstrual period? This is typically noticed by women using tampons, and this experience is possible if a woman has a double vagina and double uterus. Menstrual bleeding may be experienced immediately after insertion of a tampon. This is because the tampon has been placed inside one vagina while bleeding through the other vagina. Uterine duplication is a rare congenital abnormality that occurs during fetal development. It is not known exactly what causes this to happen, but it could have a possible genetic link as the condition has been known to run in families. During fetal development, Every uterus begins as two small tubes that usually fuse together to form one uterus. In rare cases, the two small tubes fail to merge into one and instead develop into two uteri. Often, the vagina in women with a double uterus is divided into one or two separate openings. Such women could have one or two vaginas. Normal vaginal bleeding and the role of hormones in menstruation has been discussed in this video. My aim is to create awareness on health matters for all and be sensitized and understand when to seek medical help. I hope you find this series informative and have not been shocked by the fact of two vaginas. Females with double vagina have normal physiological processes and have no limitations. See you next time when I will be talking about abnormal vaginal bleeding. Thanks for watching and please like and share this video to your friends and family and I will see you soon.